welcome to another Rascal Reviews. Today I'm looking at Blitz Enterprises FPRTA. So the Blitz Enterprises FPRTA, uh, as you can see designed by TVP, comes with your warnings on the front and this warning only applies once the product has been filled with nicotine containing e-liquid, which this one hasn't. Fairly plain box on the end, it's only available in two colours which is stainless steel and black. You have a scratch and check uh, authenticity. On this side you have the social media details of Blitz Enterprises and the Blitz logo on this side. On the back in big bold writing um, it uh, just tells you for more information visit their website. You have the contact details of the company and obviously more warnings on the bottom. So open up this device and inside you're met with a nice big 30mm RTA so it comes fitted with the standard glass which gives you 2mm now if we open this up you'll see underneath we don't actually have a packing list or manual of any kind so in the bottom of the box you come with an extended long glass and a bubble glass and a spare drip tip and a bag with uh, some spare clamps, uh, spare post screws, screwdriver, o-rings and a couple of um, coils. So if we open it up, on the top you've got your 810 knurled 810 drip tip which pops off. It is an o-ringed and then you can see the o-rings in there so you can use your own device. There's a bit of water in there from where I've cleaned this out. So around the top um, of the device you've got on there, I don't know if you can see it, F, 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 and around the bottom P, P, P for F, P. So if you unscrew the top cap, and take that off, the threads are all nice and smooth. You've got another O-ring on there, nice wide opening. And as you can see, some nice large juice holes, which is what we like to see. On the bottom, you can see you've got some uh, adjustable airflow, so it goes from all the way fully shut. And then if you can see, you open it up, and then it gets bigger and bigger, and it stops at the full open. So you have got quite a lot of adjustment there. On the bottom, FPRTA, serial number, designed by TVP and Blitz. So if we open this up, you can see the threads go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And finally we get to the deck, which has a honeycomb style bottom deck, ceramic clamps, nice and easy to use, and your wicking holes, rather large wicking holes. If we take the glass off, you can see more knurling around the chimney and FP engraved on it there. Uh, O-ring there for retaining your glass. So, you might have noticed that you get some longer glasses like I told you in the bottom, but yet there is no chimney extension. So, how would that work as you can see? Got the slight difference there in the glass, and same with the bubble, it's slightly taller. Well, this is what's quite clever about this device in the fact that these threads and this chimney are quite long. So, what happens is if you've got the longer glass fitted, it screws down till it's flush with the bottom. If you're using the shorter 2mm glass, it carries on going all the way down and clamps your shorter glass. So it's quite an uh, ingenious way of doing it. I've not seen that before, but um, yeah, quite a good idea. So I'm going to throw a build in this and I'm going to fit the bubble glass and we'll be right back. So as you can see, I have put in a single coil build on a 30mm RTA. So this is actually designed as a single coil. This is a 3.5mm um, um, Clapton, um, sorry, Canthal Alien. And as you can see, 
it has the raised deck so it is a um, sort of dam half dam method so the wicking on this is actually quite tricky it's a fine line between um, between flooding and um, dry hits so this is the best way I've found so far is the half dam method and just fluff the coils out nicely um, you still get some sort of weeping at the bottom you don't get a leak as such um, but you do get a good wick and some good flavour so I'll pop this back together we'll go up top and we will have a chat of the pros and cons so what are my thoughts on the FPRTA uh, it's a good device it's a nice 30 mil it's got um, I like the airflow um, you've got a lot of options there for your airflow as I previously said um, the flavor is really good it's definitely one for flavor uh, it's just a, a good solid made device um, what don't I like about it um, there's not a lot really I mean I suppose the only thing would be the uh, wicking like I said um, as you can see a bit there I've got a little bit of a dribble going on it's um, it's a fine line with your wicking uh, between flooding the deck and uh, getting a great vape and um, I don't know maybe there would have been a better way um, to go about to go about the wicking it might just be my uh, my inexperience with it uh, I don't know over the over the next few weeks I'm going to try a few different things and see how we go but yeah overall not a bad vape at all so if you like what you see head over to the Blitz Enterprises website and check out their range thanks for watching